Guys, what the fuck is going down? It is your boy Freeze, and it's been a little while since I've uploaded a video, so forgive me. I know I promised you guys one uh, maybe a couple weeks ago, a week ago. My bad. I've been taking time off just clearing my head completely. The last few months before uh, New Year's was pretty full on um, vlogging and doing my series and all that. And I guess it just kind of got to a point, you guys know, maybe two, three times a year, I'll just kind of take a complete bit of a break. And I, I've kind of just been doing that. Um, I didn't really want to. This is going to be a one take, by the way, because I just want to really just do it old school. What do you think of the Mo, by the way? Yeah, I've been growing this. I was going to shave it, but I was like, nah, I need to just wear it for one vid. Wear it. I need to keep it for one vid. And we can like look back in a few months and be like, hey, look, you can grow a massage. Or can I? Comment below. Do you, do you guys like it? Maybe I'll keep it. Comment below. Um, but yeah, so I had my break. Uh, these last few weeks unintentionally you guys know last video I was talking I hurt my back and um, it, it didn't get better. It got completely worse um, It was a really bad idea drinking at the concert and then the next day for next birthday I was on such a roll and I hurt my back and I was like, you know, fuck it Just you know drunk for those two days like and I don't drink really ever and I was just like Monday woke up just it was so fucking sore. I couldn't walk for about a week afterwards I couldn't sit for a week afterwards. I had to lie down on the floor or the bed and it was just it was just the worst because you guys know how much of a role I was on with the shred and everything I'm still holding like relatively decently and in, in terms of my muscle mass and not putting on too much body fat, but you know I was moving forward and it just kind of like maybe go backwards and then kind of stagnated a bit now, so I'm ready to keep moving forward. I'm, I'm loving that I can get back into the training in the last two or three days I have been. But like I said, anyway, the, the break was much needed and uh, I've got some exciting stuff coming up on the channel. I know everything's been really quiet. I don't want you guys to think, oh shit, like, what the fuck is he like, did you know some stuff? Look, I know you guys enjoy, uh, a few of you guys enjoy my vids, so I'm, basically I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded too many vids and got some exciting vids coming out in the next few weeks anyway on my channel. I've got a lot of messages, you guys know, over a year ago now, I got my gyno surgery. So many people like probably get two messages a day like consistently since the surgery. like okay Obviously when I got the surgery it was probably like 20 messages a day You know for the few weeks to months after when the video was going really crazy uh, But you know even still to this day I average I'm probably getting about two messages a day like how did the surgery go? Like where can you show me before and after photos just questions about the surgery? So there's there's a lot of interest there and I've, I've never really readdressed the topic so I'm gonna tee up with the doctor who actually did my surgery, gonna do some vids with him, gonna do it before and after, and a Q&A with him as well, so you guys can get all, like, have all your questions answered. So that's kind of cool, that's exciting. Also, yeah, training and all that, I'm gonna be right on it. Right now, with my YouTube stuff, I don't feel like I'm gonna be making vids just to... I don't know, I was kind of like, for a while there, I was making them and making them and making them and making them. To the point, like, because I needed to, um, I still enjoyed it, but I, you know, I set myself that goal, okay, I'm doing two a week for the series, and I did that. Um, that was pretty full on for me, because you, you guys know I do everything. Unfortunately, I don't have any, like, friends or anyone who works with me to help me make my content, which is, um, I don't know, it's kind of a shame, but it, it is what it is. Like, maybe I'm sure you guys can relate to that in your own lives out there. Like, I know there's probably a lot of people you kind of want to go on a path, and it's almost like, no one in your immediate circle is there to kind of do it with you. It can be a bit discouraging, um, believe me, I've been there many times in the past and you know, I've isolated myself and I've broken out by myself to points where I do surround myself with cool people and stuff, but in my like everyday life right now here on the Gold Coast, um, you know, I'm pretty isolated from most, most of my friends are back in New Zealand, man. This video is getting deep and I love it. Um, I haven't, I haven't done a deep bit in ages. One thing I've really been, I've been missing home a lot lately. I haven't been back home in about a year and a half now. And it's really fucking sad. I miss my family, I miss my my pets, my dog, Mr. Kitty. You guys, if you guys know fucking Mr. Kitty, I miss Mr. Kitty. And um, I'm definitely due for a trip back. So uh, February, I'm gonna go back with Jim. We're gonna make, a, make the effort to go back to New Zealand. Uh, whether it's just staying with my family for a week and just kind of like just hanging out with my family and just not doing much. But we're thinking um, we could do that and then maybe do a, a trip around New Zealand, do meetups around the place, like gym meetups and shit. Like I've said with my training, I'm getting right, I'm like still right back in it now after my back injury. So I'm keen to do some cool shit in New Zealand, but I'm just not like saying anything definitely now because it might just be how the 
timetable falls. Maybe I'll only get a week to go back and chill with Gemma, which will still be really cool. And be back here, back to work uh, with gym season and all that. Obviously, um, yeah, like the the momentum. I don't know. I just feel like everything's kind of like died down a lot uh, since we've gotten to 2018. Which uh, I'm trying not to be too upset about because I like. It was all good and then I injured my back and it really just fucked me up, so. Sometimes I kind of take that shit as a sign in life and um, it's good to do that sometimes. But yeah, that's kind of, uh, that's the plans, that's that's the update, that's what's what's going down. Like I said, uh, Sunday, actually I'm going to have this before and after video for the gyno up. Now uh, I know last time I said I was going to have a video up, I didn't. There's that reaction vid, I still want to do that vid, like reacting to like old stuff. Um, because I think that's, it's just funny looking back in your life sometimes and just being like, hey, that's crazy. It's just weird how you can like forget when it's been such a long time and just to revisit something. I don't know. I think it's cool personally. Maybe it's just me. Hey, <laughs> that's pretty much it for this little update video. I just wanted to kind of let you guys know where everything's at. No, I'm not completely dropping off the face of the, the YouTube and stuff. In all honesty, I fucking love YouTube. This 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 platform is so epic to really be able to just be with you guys and 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 all my honesty and like I mean you guys know I don't really put on much of an image like if I'm really excited and shit I'll like put that out there and if I'm actually just feeling really shit and I'm like fucking over life I'll put that out there as well. It's a platform that really you're able to do that. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw Gemma's Instagram post the other day. She's like she's right here actually, but she's you know been really just over. And she, she's in a hard position because I guess when we when we first got together, it was all like limelight on us. Her following started growing, taking off, and then what you you, reckon you felt like maybe you had to capitalize on it, but yeah, you were never really sure. You're just kind of like it was just it's never really something that I've ever wanted. Mm. But it was like I but feel it, like I had to like yeah, it's like I it's, it's almost like you're wasting an opportunity yeah. if you don't. But it's like you shouldn't feel like that if that, if you're not really feeling aligned with. I'm just like not inclined either. like that. Yeah. It's just not. Yeah, so. And I, I fully, you guys know with my Instagram, I, I don't really, I'll post every now and again, but I hate the idea of having to consistently post on that platform. I think stories are really cool. It's kind of like raw and, and well, sometimes it depends who you're following as well. Mm, YouTube, anyway. Here we are. You guys know, you guys fucking know me. So if you, like I said, always, if you see me on the street, come say what up. Don't be scared, even if I got a mustache. I'm still the same guy that. Just vlogs. Anyway, I'm, this is getting fucking weird, so I'm uh, gonna end the video here. And I'll see you guys hopefully on Sunday. I'm, I'm working on this before and after video, like, I'm in the midst of working on it right now. Uh, so it's actually, I'm, I'm really fucking excited to just get some content like that on my channel, which is something that's been requested by a lot. And I just, it's kind of like when I first got the surgery, I just didn't want to revisit it. I just wanted to put it behind me and just move forward. But it is something that completely changed my fucking life, like, for the better. Like, I was so. I'll talk about it in the vid, in the actual before and after vid, because I want to get real deep on it and really talk about my experience with, with having gyno when I had it. Guys, actually, do you know what? Do you know how long it's been since I did that cycle, that, that last cycle? It's been probably almost two and a half years now. I mean, vlog of the gods, like just before the vlog of the gods, I think it was like end of October 2015. So that's that's crazy. And I, and I don't like to say since I've been off steroids, it's like, because I did a certain amount of weeks before that. It's not like I was, when you say offset, it sounds like you've been doing it for years, so. Go watch my physique timeline video if anyone's curious on anything to do with me being natural or not being natural time frame. I'm gonna, I'll link that below right now. Go check that out and it kind of clears everything up because I don't know, a lot, there's still a lot of unclearness, but a lot of people have watched that video. It's got a lot of views now. And I just completely just put everything out there, so I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm gonna end with um, saying, uh, gymsies.com, I am still clearing out some stock. We've still got 30% off a select range of, of things that it's just down to the last few sizes. You guys know I don't normally do sales, but got a few items in there, like with either, either just got like smalls in the shirts or larges in the shorts, which don't get sold as much. And so I'm just gonna be clearing out some some stock like that. So links below. Freezma 10 is, is gonna be working on on top of the discount and stuff as well. So just leaving the video with that because I hate having stuff that like it has to show on the website but then you've only got like one small of it. Like I'm just trying to clear shit out. And we're gonna have a big 2018. Probably not straight away into this year with Gym C's. Appreciate everyone who fucks with the brand as always. But the priorities right now for me personally 
I'm just going down like my journey of the, the fitness stuff and wanting to just go see my family and see all my old friends, man. Like I just miss all my friends. Like it's really, it, it kind of like sucks, but um, it's something I've never really talked about ever since I moved to the Gold Coast. Actually, I've been all good since I've been here for about, what, three and a half years now, but it's kind of just started to hit me lately. I'm not sure why. It's probably just because I haven't been back to visit in a year and a half. It makes sense. Uh, so that's kind of my priorities for just over these next couple of months is to just kind of get a couple of things out of my system so I can really jump right back into everything and you know start getting motivated again with like all gym season and all that. Yeah, so that's my update video for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thumbs is up, thumbs is up, as good as this. I love thumbs is up, as good as this. <laughs> that's the best day. Eh? Actually, guys, we have to tell you, babe, we have to tell them the elevator story. Not a flattering angle, sorry. Yes, yeah, not at all. <laughs> We were just in the elevator before. What were you telling me? I was That's telling you hilarious. about um, let me just like. Oh yeah, me and Gemma are back to. I mean, back together. We are we are together, guys. I feel like people we're like people think like we're broken up and stuff, and we don't post together. I, I feel. Mm. Do you ever get messages? People are like you and Freezy still together? Nah. Yeah. Well. Sorry. Uh, actually, no, no. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well. Anyways. Anyway, I just feel like we haven't fucking posted together. Is what I'm trying to yeah, say. Yeah, we'll get a cute photo. Um, I was telling you about Wait, what? We'll get a cute photo together and we'll post it. For Instagram, but don't you like not like making an effort? Well, you just were saying, <laughs> fuck you. I was telling him anyway. about this time in school. Okay, so long story short, I taught my class in English. Okay, so we walked into the lift. When did you get them? Okay, sorry. We walked, we walked into, into the, the lift. lift. And, and there was a the guy in the lift. Who's You're, telling the story? You, go, you, go, you, you asked me. You go. We walked into the lift to our apartment and there was a tradie in there. And he was just, you know, cash. He was probably 60 years old. Maybe. So, and I smiled at him. And then we were having a conversation about, I topped, it was actually I topped my year in my English for one of the years. And um, I was telling Friesma about it. And I had a really shitty teacher at the time. She was a fucking bitch and I hated her. And um, I remember she always thought I was stupid. And one day I got my test results back and she handed them to me. And she said, just the way she was, said it, she was like, well done, Gemma. I always thought you were like a bit stupid. Like she said it like that. And I was like, what the fuck? So you got the best marks in English. And I got the best marks in English. For the year. For the year. Yeah. And she didn't help me whatsoever. She didn't help anyone in the class. And I was angry because she, I was in her class. And now she can brag and be like, oh yeah, the person who topped was in my class. But she was a fucking shit teacher. So anyways, that, babe, what are you doing right now? Oh. No, anyway, so I was telling stuff. him this story in the lift. And after I was like, oh yeah, um, I topped the class. And she called me stupid. I said under my breath, I was like. Not from, not from any of your help, bitch, or something like that. What did you I said say? She was telling me the story and she goes, yeah, no thanks to you, bitch. And then this, this guy was just in the lift and it, he just lost he it. He loved it. I was he like, just <laughs> lost it. He was just like. <laughs> he literally. And like, like, like literally like that. It was so like, yeah. fucking funny. I just, it was a bit, it made my day. And he it made his day He was still laughing too. even after we left. We left the lift and he was still going. He just loved it. So. He was like cackling. It was yeah. so cute. Guys, this shit's about to run out of battery. So we're going to end of it here. And we'll see you in the next one. That just ruined my one take. It ran out. <gasps> I don't know what happened. It just hit that recording limit. Thumbs the video up if you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one. It's going to be the guy before and after. On Sunday, the, um, need a, yeah, just, I'll see you on Sunday. Yeah. Okay. I love you guys. I love the Freeze fan, man. It's been a while. I felt like it's been so weird not vlogging. Actually, you know, now that I'm actually holding this, before I had it set up and I was like, oh shit, this is like interrogation shit. Um, but now, now I'm holding it, I'm excited. It's time to end the vid, so see you in the next one, motherfuckers. Peace out. Should I keep the mustache? Comment below. Comment below some shit, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reply to all the comments on this video, so comment below. Just anything. Just anything. Just ask a question, I'll answer it.